I'm so new at this. <laughs> <laughs> You're not used to being on this side of the camera, no, huh? Not right. <laughs> so wrong. Welcome back to Crazy Middles. I'm filling in today. I'm the host. No. <laughs> We're gonna have some fun today. You guys have been asking so many questions about Bishop, and Bishop is our amazing videographer. He's getting all the shots, putting the videos together, and He's just incredible. And you guys want to know more about him. So we are going to, we took a whole bunch of your questions from Instagram. We've compiled them and now you're in the hot seat. Yes. <laughs> are you ready? Yes. Okay. Yours. We're going to jump into the very first question, which is what made you become a videographer? Well, videography has kind of always been around since uh, I say middle school. I was the uh, middle school camera guy for like news thing that we had going on back then. Well, that's cool. Yeah. That's and, so fun. <laughs> and I was always that guy that, that was carrying a camera uh, in high school, just taking pictures. Yeah. So that was kind of my thing. And it kind of faded so it away. it started young. Yeah, it, it, yeah. It's, I started it and I was, it was a passion, just something like a hobby. And back then you had to, you know, take your, your camera back to Walgreens to get it developed. Yeah, and, right? <laughs> all of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm that old. It's okay, <laughs> I am too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But it, it went away and then I worked for a solar company and they knew that um, I had some experience and they asked me to export a video and at that point they said, this is all you're going to do from now on. Oh. And it just kind of carried on from me doing weddings and birthdays around the side and around the city and uh, I just never stopped. This is, this is what I do. I love it. That's so cool. Yeah. I love that. Okay. Do you have children? Are you married? Yes, uh, married now, get it right before I get in trouble. Uh, so we just, <laughs> we just celebrated our 11th uh, anniversary while we were in Vegas, Cheer Choice Awards with, with Shelly and Jared, which is awesome. Um, we've been together for uh, 16 years now and we have an eight year old daughter named Love. And she's adorable. Yes. She is absolutely adorable. <laughs> she's my, she's my everything and uh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's her. That's my. So you're almost as you're you're just barely married longer than Mark and I. Yeah. Just barely. So that's so yeah. cool. Okay, so how did you come to work for the Crazy Metals? So uh, at the time, I was uh, doing school photography for like Shutterfly, Life Touch, and I was taking pictures around schools, still working with kids. Um, so at that point, I knew I, I love working with kids, but I still wanted to kind of grow a little bit further, and I love film. I mean, I, I know photography just as much, but I love film. Um, and I did a search on ZipRecruiter, and I seen I seen the ad for Crazy Middles was looking for a videographer, and I applied. I got the call back from Shelly pretty quick. Yeah. Um, I yeah. was super excited. <laughs> I, I told myself, I'm going to watch every video Aww. before this interview, and there was way too many videos. There was... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's like a thousand videos or there something There was so crazy. many videos, yeah. but I was so excited and the day of the interview, I just knew this was my forever home. Yeah, I we were so anymore. excited. <laughs> I was part of the interview as well and when you yes. left, we were like, yay! <laughs> we were so excited to work with you, so we're grateful that you No, we, we were having you, so you much us. fun, so yeah. much fun. So yes. much fun. Okay, which kid do you bond with the most? Well, I can say I, I do have a, I have like a different relationship with each kid. Each little, we have our own secret handshake. That's uh, so cute. <laughs> from from Brindley to you know Case, and we, we all have our own secret handshake. Uh, even me and Mason, we uh we do lunch together. We sit and watch like alone in our wilderness nature shows, and um, me and Landon <laughs> may talk about gaming here and there. So I, I have a relationship with each differently. Addie and Aubrey, they're super stylish. We talk about shoes and music <laughs> and things <laughs> like that. Too, yeah. So I'm kind of like the cool uncle, you know? I kind of see that. That's a great yeah. way to put it. That yeah. is a great I'm way. The cool uncle. Yeah. Uh, but me and Braxton share a birthday and we are very much in common on like things we enjoy. So um, I, I say Braxton, that's that's my buddy. Like we're, you guys we're are the buddies. same, we, we bond. So cool. I feel like you and Mark, also have a lot in common. Mm -hmm. Like so many of the things that <laughs> you you guys have like same similar interests and yeah. things. So whenever you guys are together, I always feel like Yeah. Mark is another one of the kids. Talking that about I have a bond with. He yes. is. <laughs> <laughs> we have a great bond. Mark <laughs> hasn't really grown up. <laughs> we have so but much I love fun him together for that. too. Yeah, yeah we do. It's fun. <laughs> okay. Um how do you like working for such a big family? I mean, I, I think it's 
it's easier because it's always there's so much going on. There's something happening always in every corner. Yeah, every nook and cranny. You just gotta <laughs> film it. I know you guys just love it all. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that makes it really easy and so many different personalities. Yeah, there. just so much love. But it's even awesome. though even though we're such a big family, I feel like we're very normal. Yeah. We're what? a very normal family. You know, I feel like a lot of people would think that it's <laughs> weird. Like things are just chaos over here and whatever. No. But it's just not. No. In the beginning, I thought that too. I was like, man, that's a lot it's of kids. It's going to be but, nuts. Yeah. And I hear Shelly say all the time, oh, we're small. We're small. But, yeah. but I understand that now. I'm like, oh, 10 kids. It's not, it's it's, not that bad. It's not that much. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't feel like that. No. Especially because it's actually really quiet over here. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And they're so well behaved. So Yeah. Everyone loves each other. Yeah. So. <laughs> I couldn't ask for anything better. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Who do you have the most fun filming? So it is a mix up. Uh, Cody always gives me great <laughs> footage. You know, I know yeah. when he's coming over, we're going to have a great time. It's going to be an awesome vlog. Plus, you know, yeah. you guys like watching them as well. Um, Mark, if you know, he's, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel, and if you didn't know, I also filmed for Kylie as yes. well on, on numerous occasions. So me and Mark have tons of fun and the things that he said. <laughs> he says the, the, the funniest things and it's, you know, it's pretty awesome. Mark but, is a little off the wall. Cody, yeah. you just never know what's going to come You never know. Mouth. You never know. And then yeah. Addison, is, it is a surprise as well. She <laughs> does it. Yeah, it's so much fun. And, and, and it's mainly because, it is hard to say, but yeah, they, it is so much fun. It all, it's all crazy, but you got to love it. What you see is what you get. Yeah. What you guys see is how things really are yeah. and how we are. And yeah. If it, I mean, if it wasn't a little bit crazy, we wouldn't be living up to the name. Right, the crazy, crazy middles. middles. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> okay, where are you from? So uh, I was born and raised in Chicago, Illinois, where my father's side of family is. That's is where they still live, and in Michigan City, Indiana. Uh, my mother's side is in St. Louis, Missouri, it's where I spend most of my time. You know, okay. kind of sound like Fresh Prince. Born and, <laughs> born and raised. <laughs> Playground. I spend most of my day, <laughs> but I came out to Phoenix. Uh, it's been about 12, 13 years now. Okay. Um, and me and my wife have been out here just when we love it. We're Phoenicians through and through. When we go back to St. Louis, it doesn't feel like home. This is home. This can't, is home. Can't wait to come back home. The heat is home. This is it. I, <laughs> I would take this. And it's probably not one of the questions, but someone did ask dust storms over snowstorms. I would take a dust storm. Really? Any day. Yeah. Over a snowstorm. I can't even imagine dealing with snow. Oh my you know God. what I mean? I can't even. Yeah, you just gotta wake up a lot earlier and, and shovel, shovel and start like, your car and clean it off. It's yeah. a lot. I can't imagine that being part of my yeah. daily routine. I'll take this. Yeah. <laughs> All day. Okay. I feel like um like a journalist mm -hmm. with this, you know, like with yeah. my little pen. It's a I it's feel, electric. Yeah, you're yeah. Right. I feel like very high electric. shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is your favorite tattoo, and what tattoo hurt the most? Well, starting with hurt the most, I say my legs. My legs hurt really bad. Oh, do you have like on your thighs? No, it's my, my calves. My oh, calves down. And, I and that's a, that's a that. muscle that you flex more than you think about. Every step you take and standing. And then that healing process, it was it was brutal. So I, I, I probably wouldn't, I only have one leg done. I never got the second one up because it was so bad. So painful. Um, but I don't, I can't say I have a favorite because I didn't like start off with all of them. They were just like one little tattoo here and there to kind of tell a story. They all tell a story. None of them I picked out of a book at the tattoo shop. Yeah. They all were some They're custom. All that, yeah, it yeah. kind of, it means something to me. Yeah. And, and I still save space for, uh, you know, when I get older, and, you know, things like yeah, that, things adding happen. things and stuff like that. So there's not really a favor. And when it comes down, when people ask like how many you have, like this whole top is kind of tattooed is and then top? like this whole bottom. So like two. So oh, <laughs> I don't have any tattoos, so I can't imagine the pain, but it, they hurt. But nowadays yeah. they have numbing cream, I understand, and that's kind of what people do now. People and they, do. they put the cream on and it kind of goes away. But they all hurt. So every how, single one. how old were you when you got your first tattoo? That's oh, just wow. coming from me. Mom? Uh, yeah, so my mom did not. Like, <laughs> she's <laughs> she's watching. <laughs> yeah. uh, a friend did it. Uh, I think I was like 16. He did it with like a guitar string. And what? A, a, <laughs> really? a race car motor and, and some like ink that we got from the store, the local store. What? And it was my St. Louis tattoo. And it's still really? there. Really? Oh still there, looks good, looks great. Wow. And he's probably a millionaire tattoo artist now. 
That's there impressive. <laughs> wow. Okay, how long have you worked for the Crazy Metals, and what is your favorite memory with them? Okay, so I would say it's been almost about a year now. It, I but it's think so, so crazy, but it feels like so much longer. It feels like you've been just with us forever. Yeah, the connection yeah. is just there. And then, plus, yeah. you know, when, I, when you watch all the videos, even though I wasn't there, I still felt like I was just a part of it. Yeah. So, just being here and watching the kids grow on YouTube, I feel like I'm a part of family. But it's only been about a year. Um, and I feel like every day we're still making just awesome memories. For example, today uh, is probably my biggest memory and it'll probably live with me forever. Uh, we went out to lunch and a kid came up and asked me for my autograph. And I was I was like, me? Like, you want not there, right? But <laughs> he did, he so did ask cute. first. He asked who I, who we were and he looked us up and he came <laughs> back. He and he well, came back multiple water. times. Yeah, he, he did. Yeah, he, gave, he asked for the autograph. It was my very first autograph, um, and that's pretty. Special. That was cool. That, that was, was pretty, really cool. That's pretty awesome. Because yeah. one of the coolest things about what we do is that, I mean, even though we have moments like that that aren't on screen, there's so many moments that we're capturing on video, you know, and you're part of all of that. Yeah. So, yeah. I think that's like a really cool, a cool thing. I feel honored to be the, the videographer and to still. Be shown, You're like, still part of everything. You guys show me. I'm yeah. Here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is your most embarrassing story? Oh, man. And it's crazy that all of these things are just like happening every day. So the most embarrassing, it may change tomorrow. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but but just this weekend, I had an a artist fly in from, from Oakland and we did a music video. Everything's going great. Uh, we filmed all the, all the extra shots. We went to grab something to eat. Uh, I'm not going to say the restaurant to give them bad shine. We, gra we grabbed something to eat, and like midway through the shoot, I just wasn't really feeling oh, right. No. We're, and I booked a, a studio, and we're in there filming in the green screen. Everything's kind of, I'm just, and then mid conversation, I was like, oh, I got to go. So, <laughs> oh, no. And it was, it was bad to the point where the artist had to drive me home oh, and <laughs> in my car. And I'm just oh. out the window the whole time, just throwing up. And it's oh. and the worst part about it is That's as terrible. I'm like out the window and I look over, he's wiping his arm off. And I'm like, oh, but I get you a little bit. I know. Uh, oh. And then I mean, I almost felt so that bad taking so his terrible. money, but <laughs> that is so terrible. Okay. It was it was pretty bad. That does bad. bring me to one other thing, because some of you were asking, I don't think we have the question, but some of you were asking, like, do you just work for, mm -hmm. with crazy metals or do you do stuff like you know yeah, I, I, I really don't want to as much because I have so much fun doing this and you I, love I to put, work though yeah I do love to work yeah. but, but being here I put my all into it yeah. so when I go home I am exhausted I'm just kind of yeah. ready to enjoy the family but there are certain jobs that I do take on here and there I love doing weddings and quinceañeras a music video here and there yeah. um, so but I, so I just love the film and that's and another question I'm not sure if it's one to ask yeah that's, it is yeah that's that's what, what do you I do in your free time. time? Yeah. Filming was my hobby. It's kind of something I kind of turned into. And, and I didn't plan on turning into money, but someone said, you should be charging for this, you know, because I was doing a lot of stuff for free. Um, but it's my hobby. It's what I do for fun. I spent a lot of money on camera equipment. So, <laughs> yeah, I think my wife is happy the fact that I, I'm actually make, able to make a return back on some of the equipment. Yeah. So it's, it's what I love to do. And I don't, I don't, I don't I'm not going to retire. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Like oh. Steven Spielberg, retire, or George Lucas, I don't think. Not you. Yeah, That's not in your no, cards. I'm not going to retire. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Do you have, or would you like a family as big as Crazy Metals? So I come from a, a big family. My grandmother had 21 kids as well. And, wow. And each one of those kids had kids and cousins, so the family is huge. You're used to it. Yeah, I'm yeah. very much used to it. Um, and I still feel like I'm a part of a very big family. Vicariously, I, I come here every day. I'm a part of this family. The, oh, 100%. The, the kids yeah. and, you know, everything. Yeah. I, I'm, we're doing homework together. <laughs> <laughs> we're, yes. doing, we're doing all of it. So, all of it, yeah. So it, it definitely reminds me of uh, my upbringing, of being in a big family, and that's probably why I connect so big with it. So, so many personalities, like I say, and everyone has a different place in my heart. Feels like home. Yeah, right? it is home. Yeah. What's the hardest part of working with the crazy metals? <laughs> that feels like a loaded question. 
It's okay. Don't I, you can tell me. Well, I won't tell anybody. Well, as you mentioned, I love to work. <laughs> yeah. And I love to film. And when my shutter finger is itching, I'm just ready to just shoot everything. And again, it's it's a it's a, a give and a take because I also love to relax and to take naps sure. and to sure. rest. Yeah. And Shelly does as well. She loves. She actually <laughs> likes, her, <laughs> she likes to rest too. So when she when she doesn't feel like filming or the kids don't, we when it's not the vibe for filming we just we don't it yeah. has to feel good yeah. and sometimes it's just hard when, when we're just not filming yeah and it's because i love to do it but it's also okay because i love to rest as well so it is a, a it give is. and take yeah um but that's that's probably going to be my hardest thing is just not being able to do the thing i love to do the most <laughs> <laughs> i i think i can relate to that because like when i'm not in a project like a diy project mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, I want to do something so bad. I just want to tear something apart, you know? So, just rip it up. I just want to rip it up. <laughs> so I can relate to that. But yeah. it is like not every single day do we feel like filming. Mm -hmm. And if we don't want to film or, the, you know, somebody doesn't want to film or whatever, like yeah. it just kind of, we just don't. We, yeah. we don't want it to feel forced. And that's why we just try to film when we want to because we want it to feel... We don't want that energy to come off on camera like we don't want to yeah. be filming today. So yeah, exactly. We never, we don't do that. And we I, just do what we want. And I, we know you guys love the videos. We like, do. And that's the, that's the other thing. Cause I, I, when I read the comments, I know you, you guys really look forward to the videos yeah. and there's times where, you know, we don't think like it's much going on around the house. Right. But we well, know cause it's you, just like normal time. This is normal stuff, but <laughs> yeah. you, I know you, you guys would love to see these things. So yeah. I'm going to just try my best to give you guys quality footage and just make sure that you guys here on this journey. Yeah. With everyone growing up and you know, everything that's happening in this household. So yeah, yeah. I'm glad to be a part of it and I'm glad to bring you guys along with us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is your favorite food? So I love food. I'm a foodie. Um, me and my wife, we try different stuff. Like every week, we're trying to do something different. But my, I say my favorite like genre of food would have to be Asian cuisine. Um, this is from Japanese to Thai to Vietnamese food. Okay, Chinese. Yeah. I love my, I like my pho. I love dim sum. I love my <sighs> Korean barbecue. Yeah. So uh, in Mesa, Arizona, if you're familiar with it, there's a you know Asian culture area and H Mart. That's just like. Heaven to me. Really awesome. Yeah. yeah. The food there. Just... I feel like if I need a food recommendation of like somewhere new to try, I can go to you. Oh yeah. <laughs> and ask you. <laughs> yeah. And you'll have somewhere cool for Mark yeah. and I to go. I'm not. I'm not afraid to eat yeah. much of anything. I'll try it That's all. That's so cool. Yeah. In every country that I've been to, I've eaten in like the craziest alleys and. Oh my god. But it's always the best food because there's always a line at some of these places, and you're like, then you know, I would never eat there. But yeah. See, I'm not very adventurous, but Mark is. So Mark yeah. tries to get me out of my comfort and, zone. See, but that's where you guys relate. Yeah, but <laughs> at, say. at the same time, my worst experience last week of me uh, <laughs> well, yeah, maybe. eating See, food and, that's and having stomach of. problems. <laughs> but it's getting stronger. It's stronger my immune system. I'm upgrading. Uh, I stomach. Yeah. yeah right. Oh my yes. goodness. Okay, is your name really Bishop? Yes, my first name is John, middle name Bishop. Last name Jones. Uh, my my granddad is, my, or my great granddad is also John Bishop Jones. Oh, I'm cool. junior though, because my dad isn't junior. My dad is also John Bishop Jones. They, it's all John. We all call each other John Jones. Really? My dad calls me, he says, John Jones, John Jones. That's how we talk to each other. Really? And most of the friends that I have, they all call me John Jones. So to kind of differentiate, I just started going by Bishop. It's my middle name. Um, people really love it. It it, it kind of goes with my my uh, my business as well. Yeah. And I believe in a name. Like it kind of can take you. Yeah, places. that's so true. And I feel like Bishop just fits you. Yeah, it fits your personality. Yeah. Some people yeah. say, "Give me the good word, Bishop." I'm like, oh no, no. <laughs> <laughs> not that kind of Bishop. Not that kind of Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. <laughs> what is your favorite thing about being a videographer? I say the freedom that I have to, you know, just do what I love, as well as um, the creativity I get to put in every project. Not to mention the, the excitement that the, the client gets when, like, I, yeah. I like over exceed their expectation and you know it's like I'm freaking out, blown away. I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that! <laughs> <laughs> it, it just lets yeah. me know, okay, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, and it, I don't know, it's the gratification I get when, when you're that excited about it and it just pushes me harder to just do more of that and just 
do better. So that, and again, I get to go home to my family and this is what I love to do every day. I was doing it for free. And yeah, I get to do it. I get to do it for your, for your career. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty awesome. Pretty I can't cool. say that. What is the craziest thing you've ever seen happen while on the job? Oh wow! <laughs> You're uh, like every day. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Well, well, here, uh, Crazy Meadows family. If you guys remember, uh, there was a time where there, there was a guy that jumped over the back wall. Right. And uh, That's at that time, right. I was actually in the backyard. I was walking in the house when that happened because the dogs went this way and I'm going this way. Mine's and Trey's outside. Um, he hops this fence and he hops this fence. There's helicopters outside. The police SWAT teams and so unmarked cars, and then they want to see the the footage. It was pretty. It was pretty crazy. That's it was chaotic. Crazy. The kids were kind of concerned because I mean, it, it is kind of scary when you think about something like that. Oh yeah, for sure. Because yeah. some guy was just jumping through the backyard. Yeah, just went through. Just... We had no idea what was going on, yeah. but when you see the the cop cars and the the you know the helicopters, it's kind of. Kind, kind of alarming, of and it, it's freaky. that close to home, so that was pretty crazy. Yeah, I, want to say. I wasn't here for that, but I remember watching that footage, and I was like, "Oh my <laughs> gosh!" I'm what sure a lot of people. On? I'm sure a lot of people were thinking the same thing. Yeah. And the the craziest thing is the dogs were just just going <laughs> at it, and bless her heart, Belle. She was she's just a soldier. She was just. She was just she was chasing them chasing. down. Chasing that little down. bell. She was like, I'm gonna get you. Maya was coming at them. He was just walking. Then when Bell came, he, he took <laughs> off. Uh, he had to go. He know he was gonna lose his ankles that day. So no, that that was pretty crazy. I That's should say. Crazy. Since you video the crazy medals, who do you think is the craziest? Oh, there's a mix up, and it kind of goes back to my last, my other three, like. So starting with Cody again, when I know <laughs> yeah. Cody comes, starting with Cody, yeah, because it's yeah. so unpredictable. Yeah. Um, to take it back from when drinking a whole cup of coffee creamer in, inside oh of, oh my god, or the whole ice cream cone, um, yeah. garlic. He Cody okay. likes it. He will like he'll, Mikey. Yeah, he'll yeah. eat it all. And Addison again, she surprises me when she um, when she walks inside of you no know, random cars. <laughs> Me on this one that, that does not look like our car. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Some of the things she says, so it's, just, it's just so it's so awesome. But uh, again, Mark as well. Oh, yeah. yeah he's pretty <laughs> wild and crazy. And he can throw Trey in the air so high. Oh my <laughs> gosh, I know, right? I always get so scared when he does that. He does that with his niece, nieces and nephews too. Like, yeah. Like, what are you doing? What yeah. if you drop them? He's oh the, my he's gosh. The, the brother, the brother he's in law the that you, brother in law, yeah. You have, you gotta have. So, yeah, yeah that's a, a good mix up right there. Got a few, few personalities. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Well, you made it through. Oh, wow. You made it through all that the questions. Fun. I know. I'm so glad that you guys had so many great questions that you wanted to get to know Bishop more. Yeah. He's part of our family. We adore him and he's so talented. So we're glad that you're Aww. glad that you're part of our family. Thank you. So. I'm having so much fun. And if, if there's any questions I didn't answer, yeah. anything that we didn't get to, please put in the comments. Yeah. I will answer them myself. Oh, I love it. Yes. That's amazing. Most definitely. Well, thank you so much for being here, you guys. We will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.